Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to uh, talk about what solution, what a solution is, okay, and the types of what solutions that we have. Alright, do not forget to like this video as you are watching now. Just click on that like button. Please do it now. Do not say I'll do it later. Just click on that like button now to not stop the video. Do not forget to subscribe. Do it now too also. And do not forget to keep sharing this video. So if you are not sharing, ah, wait till you they do no good. All right, so please click on that share button. All right, and of course, do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app. So that's all the past questions you need. So you don't need to go and buy past questions outside. It has all the, it has, in fact, it has a textbook inside in the classroom feature. All right, it's a, it has lecture notes that have been structured according to the Jam syllabus, according to what you need exactly. All right, and then we have what question search feature. We have the UTM mock challenge every Saturday that you can participate in. All right, participate with your mates, thousands of other Jam win amazing prizes every Saturday, all right, you get used to jump pass and likely exam questions, and what's more is that what you see your score release every Saturday, so you know what they care when they say jam down release result, because it's something you're already used to, all right, so please get on the app immediately, download it from Play Store, and activate it for a small fee, all right, so uh, we're going to look at what solution, And what do we say a solution is? We say that a solution is a uniform or homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Okay, we say a solution. A solution is a uniform or homogeneous mixture, okay, of two or more substances. Okay, so it's homogeneous, it is uniform, a solution is what is uniform, and it is what? Homogeneous, okay? It's an homogeneous or a uniform what mixture, okay? And homogeneous or uniform what mixture. That means when you take what, let's say a solute and, and a solvent together, let's say salt, okay, pour inside water, you should turn, use your spoon to shake it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. At the point, you will not see the solute particles again, you will not see the salt particles again. They would, they would have all dissolved, okay, inside the word the solvent. Okay, so that is homogeneous with mixture, all right? So now, that is a, a solution is a uniform homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. And quickly speaking, it is important to know that the solutions are for two types. So we have what, 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 what to call a true solution, then we also have what to call a false solution. Okay, so solutions are of two types. We have what the true solution, and then we have what the false what solution. All right, and we say a true solution is one that contains solid that contains what solute particles dissolved or solvated in the solvent. Okay, we say a true solution is one that contains what solute particles dissolved. Or solvated in the what in the solvent. Okay, let us just put that down so that to be clearer. All right, we say a true solution is one that contains a true solution is one that contains solute particles dissolved. Or solvated in a solvent. Okay, we say a true solution is one that contains what solute particles dissolved or solvated in a what in a solvent. Just like the example I made, putting what salt inside water. Okay, so at a point, the salt, the, the salt is what. In case some of you that don't know what the difference between solute and solvent. Okay, the salt. Okay, is what is the solute. Okay, the one that is not what that is what that is dissolved. The one that is dissolved is the solute, okay? Why what dissolves what it is what is the solvent, okay? So, like what salt and what water, for example, salt is what is the solute, while what water is what is the solvent, okay? So, that's a true solution is one that contains solute particles dissolved or solvated in the solvent. That is a true solution, all right? And it's also important to know that the solute may be solid, it may be liquid, or it may be gas, Okay, the salt, the solute may be what solid. Okay, it may be what liquid, or maybe what maybe gaseous. Okay, so that is that what about what the solute. Okay, the solute may be solid, may be liquid, or what may be gaseous. But right, now the solvent is usually what a liquid. In this other case, this one is a solute. Solute 
But the solvent is usually what a liquid. The solvent is usually what a liquid, but the solution may be what solid, liquid, or gas. Okay, now the solvent is commonly the major fraction of the solution. The solvent is commonly the major fraction of the solution, just as what the solute that means what it means that what the solvent the many parts. Okay, but the word the liquid is usually what in small what amount. Okay, that's what it means when we say that what that the solvent is usually the major fraction, usually the major fraction of the solution. Why the solute is not is the minor what fraction. Okay, so the solvent is commonly the major fraction of the solution, and of course, we know that what water is the commonest solvent that we have, but right? I because we call water a universal solvent, a universal what solvent that's what we call it water because what. Almost and every substance can work can dissolve what in it, okay? Can dissolve what in water. Okay, we call it the universal surface because almost or every substance dissolves what in it. So when water, when water is the solvent, when water is solvent, okay, in the solution, we call that solution an aqueous solution. Aqueous solution. Okay, so an aqueous solution is a solution which has what water as a solvent. So some of you see reactions like this NaCl, you now see aqueous. Okay, it means that what it means so it means what uh, salt. Okay, dissolved in what in water. Okay, that's what so don't realize what is salt now. Okay, it means salt salt that has been dissolved in water. You see aqueous, that's what it means. Okay, so where water has, is what is the solvent, we call that what we call that solution what an aqueous what solution. All right. Now other solvents, we have other solvents, like for example, we have ethanol, ethanol, which is polar, ethanol is polar like water. Okay, we have other solvents, we have what benzene, okay, we have other solvents, we have diethyl ether. Let me just put them somewhere. Okay, we have what uh, other solvents they include, for example, we have uh we have benzene, okay, we have ethanol. Okay, we have diethyl ether. Okay, ether. Then we have what hexane. Okay, all these are all what they are all what they are all solvent. They are all solvent. So water, ethanol, okay, benzene, diethyl ether, hexane. All these they are all examples of what are solvent. So what I've said so far is that what a true solution is one that contains solute particles. Dissolved or solvated in the what in the solvent, okay. And then we'll look at what water being the universal solvent, all right. And then we'll talk about what the major fraction of what of a solution, which is either what the solvent, all right. And then, of course, we'll look at what aqueous solution and look at our examples, other examples of what of solvents that we have, okay. So now let's look, let's go to what a false solution. Now, a false solution do not contain solute dissolved in the solvent, a false solution does not contain solute. Dissolved in a solvent. All right. Instead, we have what we call a dispersed phase and a dispersed medium. Okay. We say what that a false solution does not contain a false solution. Do not contain solution. Do not contain solute particles or uh, solute particles dissolved. In a solvent, just like what it's not like what like the what like the true solutions. Okay, it does not contain solute dissolved in what in solvent. It's not like true solutions. Okay, they do not contain what solute solute particle dissolved in what in solvent. Instead, what we have is what we have what a dispersed what a dispersed phase, and then we have what a dispersed what medium. All right, so we do not have we do not call them what uh, solute and solvent. Okay, we have what what we call instead they contain substances which we call what we call those substances what dispersed phase. Okay, and then of course they this dispersed these substances that are called dispersed phase they are dispersed in what we call a dispersed medium. Okay, please take note of that. So it's like it's, this dispersed medium is like what? It's like the liquid of what of the first solution. Okay, it's like the liquid of the first solution. Okay, so so take note of that. All right, why this dispersing? I've seen something like that in the past question before, so you have to uh, be very very sensitive. Okay, this dispersed phase is like the solute. Why this one is like like the medium? Just that what a first solution does not contain solute. Dissolved in what in solvent. Please take note of what of that. So instead, what we have is what is a what a uh, it contains what substances that we call what dispersed what phase 
that are dispersed in what in a dispersed what medium. That is to say, there's no salvation. There's nothing like salvation in what in false solutions at all. There's nothing like salvation in false solutions. Okay, the solutier can scatter light rays. The solutier. Okay, the solutier. This one is like the solute. Like I said, right? Why this one is like the solvent. The solutier can scatter light rays. It can scatter, scatter, scatter light rays. And we we'll call this phenomenon Tyndall effect. Okay, so please take note of that. Okay, the solution can what can scatter light rays, can scatter light rays, and call that phenomenon one Tyndall effect. Okay, now let's quickly see a simple question from what from the O3 school jump up. This is a 2022 question, uh, number eight. 2022 number eight. It's been displayed on the screen right now. He said. Dash is called the universal solvent, okay? And of course, A, they say water, B, ethanol, C, oil, the petrol. Okay, I will know that what the simple answer there is what? It's water. Water is a universal solvent, all right? So, in the next class, I'm going to be looking at what? Colloids. I'm going to be looking at colloidal solutions, all right? I'd like to see you in that class to be an interested class. Thank you for watching and see you there.